in manufacturing, when we're producing many things, uh, uh, what we want to do is figure out how many we have to sample to determine if we're achieving our target values for our customer. And so one of the ways to do that is to figure out how many, how big your sample size ought to be. In the QI macros, if you click on ANOVA tools and go down to the very bottom, you'll find our sample size calculator here. Now, <clears throat> let's suppose for uh, an instant, I live in Denver, and we have the, the Denver Mint here. Let's say that we had a thousand coins in a VAT. If I wanted to be 95% confident, and again, you can adjust these, uh, that our defect rate is fairly low, all right, so plus or minus 0 0.05, that's 5%, uh, are an error. How many would we have to test? Well, the first part of the calculator is for attribute data. So we're just testing good or bad here, so that's attribute. And since we don't know how many defects are in the VAT, we have to start assuming that half of them are defective. And since we know our population in the VAT, um, we come up with our known population. If it was an unknown population, we'd be a little higher, but an unknown, a known population, we need to look at 278 coins to be 95% confident that we have less than a 5% error rate, plus or minus 5% error rate. Now, what if we, we change that, squeeze that down a little bit? Um, we had one, we'd have to do almost all of them. If we had plus or minus 10%, we'd only have to do 88. And so the calculator will help us figure out what to track. Now let's assume that we produce a, a part, let's say, and it has some variability. But what we'd like to know is um, we want to squeeze our confidence interval down here to 0 0.01. Um, so that's one tenth, plus or minus one tenth of a percent. We don't know the population here. And we're going to, instead of using the attribute data, now we're doing a part that's being measured, so we want to put that in here. Now, if we were had a, just a default standard deviation, it would be 1 over 6. But in this case, we actually know what our part diameters are. So we're going to show that our parts are a high of 2.27 minus 2.009 all over six would estimate our standard deviation to cover the span. And so to be 95% confidence that we're within plus or minus 0.1% uh, of our ideal goal, we'd only need to sample 35 out of the population. And so this process is a way to start to analyze our parts. What would happen if we had, uh, let's say, a known population of 100 parts? Well, we'd only need 26. Or if we had 1,000 parts, 34. So this starts to give you some idea about how we can estimate uh, sample sizes for both attributes, like the coins where you're just looking for defective ones, and variable data where we're looking for things that might be out of spec, and how many would we have to look at to determine if we're in or out of spec. And that's the sample size calculator in the QI Macros. You can download a 30-day trial from QIMacros.com.